I guess, um, with all of this, how has it kind of changed your view on abortion? Like, did you have a different um, view on abortion before having kids? Because you're a young person, and again, stereotypically, culturally, when you had when you had the opportunity and you were having the kid, like the average person would have got an abortion due to uh, factors of you know families is discouraged in the uk may that be for economic or cultural factors and especially being young so i uh i thought about it i think it crosses everyone's mind it doesn't matter what age you are the second you get pregnant i think that's always something that's going to be there um but morally i i couldn't and i just couldn't it just wasn't right for me and i knew that the way that i had got pregnant was obviously a selfish way i knew i wasn't protected and everything and then um, and I thought one selfish act and then another selfish act. What sort of character does that make me? What's, you know, it's not right. And I, I do feel as well that in modern day and age, a lot of bad things or negative things are actually, um, would you put it, like accepted and um, seen as okay and stuff like this. And it, and it actually shouldn't be. And if we take a second to stop and look at what we're consuming and look at we think hang on a minute this isn't right this shouldn't be accepted some things should not be accepted and it shouldn't be a matter of opinion and things so I think I think it would have been incredibly selfish of me to do that and I do believe as well that everything happens for a reason so yeah that's probably why I thought well this is obviously happening to me for a reason and and I'm so so glad I had him because he's given me a massive purpose obviously being a teenager as well on a day to day, what do you actually do with your life if you're not working? Like, you know, mm. you're in bed, you're with your mates, you're doing stuff that isn't really productive a lot of the time. Um, and since having him, it gives you purpose, it makes you grow up a lot quicker, responsibility. And I, yeah, and that's how, but I, I find it really difficult because obviously, I, if you've been raped, if there's a case of incest, if there's, um, I don't know, uh, you know that your child's not going to make it or is going to be severely ill or something. I totally, totally agree. I would never, ever say ban all abortion, you know, ever. But well, I was actually watching the documentary on it a couple of days ago, especially in America. So this is where, like, obviously they have the protesters and they're like, oh, my God, God hates you, this, that, and anything. And I found it actually a really difficult watch uh, with the images that were shown and, like, the whole process and everything. And I thought, really you really want to prevent that happening because it, it isn't right, I'm sorry, and it shouldn't be accepted to just use it as a form of birth control, just the same as like the morning after and stuff. It really shouldn't be done because I know, you know, some people that go, oh, yeah, I've, I've had two abortions or this or whatever because, you know, I'm not financial and I still want to live my life. And I'm sat there thinking if you are adult enough to give your body to someone else and have them do that, then you are mature enough to have a child there you go like you shouldn't, <laughs> do it. you shouldn't be doing it like i know obviously as a man and a young guy you totally probably think the opposite no I'm, I'm actually on the same page so much what you're saying like, you? generally, <laughs> i generally question. am generally because okay. like, like, that's that's another thing i wanted to touch on is um people especially young guys saying oh baby mama baby trap and you know trapping me and all this and it's such like a negative stigma with me personally my baby's father is not involved and i said to him because we weren't together at the time i said look if you want to be involved you can if you don't you don't you didn't plan this i didn't plan this it's my decision to have the baby i know you didn't want it i'm not going to ask you for anything it's your journey if you can live with that you do that you know whereas a lot of women come to me and they go like why would you do that you need to get this off him you need this and that and i go and i actually take men into consideration a bit more and i go look he's a young man he didn't plan on it you know Think about the way this is going to affect him as well. And it was my decision to keep it because I'm ready. He's not ready. We didn't plan on this. You shouldn't force something. Think logically. I think a lot of people think too emotionally and that's where you get all of this negative baby mama, baby daddy drama. So, yeah. That's fascinating. That's kind of the embodiment of uh, Jordan Peterson right there. Taking personal responsibility. And I think you're spot on. Like, um, you know, if... A majority of abortions, 99% are not, no, sorry, are because of, um, not because of rape, incest, many of the uh, things specified according to almost any metrics, any data. Um, and that's something to point out because it's always the 
um, defense of abortion given use. Now, I'm not, I'm a man, I'm not one to, you know, shame someone for having an abortion, but I'm saying it is an important issue, should be spoken about, and that's why almost whenever I talk about the subject, I always have, I have a, a woman on to kind of like talk about it because I think it's super important. And culturally, as a society, when you look at the stats, it's spiking. Um, and the truth is, people aren't having kids when you look at, uh, across Europe, lack of people having kids, America, China, you name it, people are not having kids. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Spotify by simply typing in the Radical English Gentleman, going over to it, clicking that follow button and giving it the five stars if you do enjoy it. It helps more than you can imagine. Anyway, love you all and peace.